Welcome to the next video in the series. This is going to be shifting from the anatomy to the views. So first we're going to talk about the left coronary artery views. What are the options of some of the most common used for angiograms? Now, if you have weird anatomy or something outside of the norm or a lot of overlap, we might skew these views a little bit, try some different things, put some harsher angles on them. And the reason is not everybody's anatomy is the same, right? Like if someone's heart is enlarged, it could be rotated a bit and kind of off axis where it normally is. So if we go to the view that we normally use, their coronaries might not lay out the same. You also have people with dextrocardia, okay? And people's hearts who are kind of on the other side of, of their chest where they're not supposed to be. Obviously, none of the normal angles you use are going to work. So these are adaptable and flexible, but we need to start somewhere, right? So we're gonna just talk about in perfect, normal anatomy, what you would use and why. Why do we even take different views? Why do we take so many? Why do we inject more contrast? And the reason for that is this, I mean, the heart is a, a 3D object, right? And when you're trying to take flat images, 2D images of a 3D object, you're just not gonna get the whole thing. So think about if you're standing in front of a dresser and you're trying to take a picture of the dresser, right? If you're face, front facing it and you take a picture of it, you're only going to see the front. You're not going to see the depth, right? How, how long is the dresser? What are kind of the rest of the dimensions? What does the side look like? What do the backs look like? So you have to physically move around the dresser to get all of those details. And the same is for the heart. You kind of have to move around to get all of those details. So we're going to start with what we call the four corners, okay? Areo, cranial, and I kind of put these where if the patient is laying on the table like this, that this is where the camera will be in relation to the patient. The camera being the II, the big square or round, depending what kind you have, that's in front of the patient's face hanging over them. So this is areocranial and eleocranial. These are both up towards the head. And then you have eleocaudal and areocaudal, which are, we say down towards the feet, but really if the patient's laying here, right, the II kind of ends here. So it's more towards the belly. So what are each of these good for? And I put an example of angiogram. Um, this is the same patient and then this is the same patient. I couldn't find a full study where I really liked all of the views. So let's start with REO cranial. So an REO cranial, so in the cranial views, the LAD is best shown. Now you're gonna see always the LAD and the circ and all the views, but what we're talking about is what do I see best? What is laid out best? So areocranial, here's the LAD, eleocranial, here's the LAD. And the way I personally do views is I try to step back and look at the heart shadow. In another video, we'll talk about LV grams and those angles. So you have like an areo and then you have LAO kind of for LV grams. So you see this has more of an oblong elongated shape and then this has more of a down oval football shape. And when you get familiar with those, you'll know where the walls of the heart are, and then you can figure out the arteries. So for example, in our, oh, sorry, in areocranial, the LED runs along the anterior wall, which is the top, and then the inferior wall is here, and the lateral wall is kind of in the middle. So when you draw that, you can kind of tell, oh, this one is the LED. And then in eleocranial, you can see, I'm sorry, in the um, LAO views, you can see the lateral wall. This is septal, ooh, septal apical lateral. So then this one is gonna be the circ. Okay, well, LAO caudal doesn't really follow that rule. It kind of follows its own rule, but at least for the rest of the, uh, the LAO views, at least for the rest of the LAO views, this is where your, your circ is gonna be. LAO caudal kind of does its own thing. That's the spider view that you might've heard of, which we will um, talk about. We could, we could really feature a whole video just on it. In areocranial, since a cranial view, the LAD will be seen best, and you can kind of see the mid and the distal LAD really well. You will notice this proximal portion is overlapped, is what we say, it's overlapped um, with what we think is the diagonal. So here's the thing too, is if I showed you one view and I said identify all of the vessels, you might not be able to. You might be able to say, okay, well, I can see this is the LED, but I can't really tell where the diagonal ostium is, so I'm gonna go to a different view. 
okay, I'm gonna go to an LAO cranial view because I can see the LED really well, and then I can see kind of where the diagonals take off versus where the septals take off. And that's why we take multiple views. You can't see everything in one, and that's, that's perfectly fine. You really need to see all of the views and angles in a study to figure out and identify anatomy really well, because it might look one way in one view and one way in a different view. And then this would be the circ. Ario caudal and LAO caudal is for the circumflex. It has a U, so you can see the circ best. Okay, so this is the circ laid out. I know this one has a lot of tortuosity, so it's not easy to see, but this is the circ. Now what you have here is that possible ramus or om that we talked about in a previous video, but you can see the circ here and the circ is supposed to be there. I need a better LAO caudal view. So ario caudal profiles the LED and the circ. Okay, so you can really see the circ well, but it does put the LED up here at the anterior wall. Again, look, you, you can't really tell origin of septals or diagonals. The diagonal and the LED are kind of overlapped on top of each other. And then you can see, oh, is this a ramus? I don't know. That's what you would use the LAO caudal view for to see the left main really well and then to see what branches off of the left main really well. Because right here, you can see it, but the left main is a little foreshortened. And if you are questioning this ramus, you can't really separate this trifurcation or bifurcation really well. So putting that kind of harsher angle on it and flipping the LED up and over and putting the circ out here, you can see that bifurcation or trifurcation and it profiles the left main really well. This is a very long left main, so I thought that was a good example specifically for that reason. The LAO cranial view is primarily for the LED. It profiles the LED really well, the um, origins of the diagonals and the septals. The circ is really hard to see in this view and that's okay because that's not really what cranial views are for, right? That's what the caudal views are for, to see the circ. Now remember, some of you learned REO versus LAO by the spine, right? The spine is on the, the opposite. The spine is on your right-hand side in LAO and on your left-hand side in REO, and you can test that theory here. So where the catheter is, the catheter is in the aorta, right? If it's femoral or at least in the aortic root, and that's really where your spine is. So the catheter is here. So this is the spine on the left, which makes sense. That's REO. And this one, the spine is on your right-hand side which would be LAO. Future videos in this playlist, we will go through each of the corner views and really break down what vessel you're looking at and all of the different vessels that come off of it. This is just to, to give you an overview of why we take the different views versus just taking one or two. And we also go into the RCA views, which are very different from the LCA views. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to like and please subscribe to my channel so that we can do more of these together in the future.